Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're making pistachio punch de creme. So if you saw my other two punch de creme recipes, which was mocha and simos, it's going to be the same concept. We're making one big batch and then um, breaking that up into smaller batches to make different flavors. And of course, you guys can keep the one big batch and just double the ingredients to make this. So I'm going to go in with my eggs. You want to use pasteurized eggs and we're going to add in whole milk. Now I was missing bitters for this recipe. I did not have any on hand. So make sure when you're making this, you add some bitters to that mixture. Now a lot of you all ask me about um, cooking the eggs. If you wanted to heat this uh, for a little on your stove, of course you can. You don't want to cook it on a rapid boil. You want to just simmer it and then you'll strain and enjoy and add the rest of flavorings. But it's totally optional if you use a 70 proof rum or more it will be you will be able to drink this without warming it through excuse me guys I'm not 100 <clears throat> so I'm adding in the rest of ingredients now once you finish make your base you can just use this as an original punch de creme recipe Someone asked me for cookies and cream. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a cookies and cream version, but if you wanted to do cookies and cream, what you'll do is make the same base and then you will melt your cookies and cream and just mix it in just like I did with the mocha, mixing in the chocolate. And you'll have cookies and cream and you just don't strain that mixture. So you strain the punch de creme original and then add in the cookies and cream. So I'm adding three cups of that punch de creme mixture in my jug and I'm adding in one packet of pistachio pudding and I'll go in with some pistachio essence. If you wanted it really, really green, feel free to add some food color in. This does give you a light green color. And I'm going to mix that in. Now I wanted to strain this because there are nuts in that pudding and I didn't want any nuts in my drink. So straining is optional. If you didn't strain your punch de creme mixture before, I suggest you doing that first if you're not straining this mixture here. And that's it, a simple punch de creme recipe. Go check out my mocha and my simo sponge de creme recipe. It's really easy to put together this holiday season. Season's greetings, everyone.